In this section, we'll discuss tips on how to study anatomy and physiology. The first tip is learning root words. Because there's a large number of names and terms you're required to learn when you study anatomy, knowing some root words, suffixes, and prefixes will make it easier. For example, brachio. The meaning of brachio is of or relating to the arm. An example would be brachium. Digit. This is of or pertaining to the finger. An example would be the flexor digitorum superficialis. This is the flexor muscle of the finger. Also, hyper. The meaning is extreme or beyond normal, and one example would be hyperextension. A tip to help with all the different muscles you need to learn anatomy is muscle types. When studying the muscular system, it can be helpful to learn the function of each muscle type. For example, a flexor muscle decreases the angle between the components of a limb, resulting in flexion. Whereas an extensor muscle increases the angle and straightens out the arm, for example. Other muscle types include abductors and pronators. A great tip for learning anatomy is the use of a mnemonic. Mnemonics are a great way to memorize what's needed. Follow this simple three-step process to make them. In step one, list the key words in a logical order. In step two, write down the first letter of each keyword, and in step three, create a word, phrase, or sentence from those first letters. Here's an example. To remember the order of the bones in the spinal column, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacrum, and cossacks. You could use the first letter from each to create the phrase, canned tuna looks so cramped. That's it. To help learn anatomy, use mnemonics. Here are some tips for studying physiology. In this section, we'll review some tips. Number one, memorizing basic information to save time later. For example, commonly used terms and concepts, the four tissues, or the eleven body systems, for example. Learning vocabulary quickly for understanding when it's used later. Make a cheat sheet or flashcards if needed. Thirdly, brush up on your basic biology. Don't try to remember every variation of each process, but remember that physiology encompasses a lot of biology. And number four, look for the commonalities between processes and functions. Don't treat each one as different. For example, most signaling pathways share some key functions, that is, the binding of the signaling molecule to a receptor and the transduction of that information into the cell. Here are some additional tips for studying physiology. The following are additional tips. Take each system in steps. Identify the information given and wanted. Try to understand why processes happen and look for patterns. Connect each thing you learn with previous concepts. It's also important to keep up with the work. Physiology builds on prior knowledge. Ask for help when you need it. Don't be afraid to seek out help early. Find an instructor, TA, tutor, or friend that can help.